The dark history of sin eaters, consuming sins for eternal damnation. Ever heard of someone eating sins for a living? Welcome to the world of sin eaters, a dark and eerie tradition from history. Stay tuned as we delve into the macabre practice of consuming sins for eternal damnation. Welcome to Science Delhi, where we uncover the strangest and most fascinating aspects of history and science. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more intriguing stories. If you find this video fascinating, give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 1. The concept of sin eating. Imagine a ritual where someone would eat bread off a corpse to absolve the deceased of their sins. This bizarre practice was the role of the sin eater. Their job was to ensure that the departed would go straight to heaven, leaving them to bear the weight of those sins. 2. Origins of sin. The concept of sin has ancient roots, possibly starting with stories like Cain and Abel or Lucifer's rebellion. Sinning has always been considered detrimental, leading to various ways to seek forgiveness. 3. The role of Jesus. Jesus Christ is often seen as the ultimate figure who took on humanity's sins, dying on the cross for their redemption. Could he be considered the original sin eater? This intriguing comparison sets the stage for understanding the sin eater's role. 4. The importance of confession. Confession plays a crucial role in Christian practices, as it's seen as the path to forgiveness. Jesus emphasized this in Luke chapter 11 verse 4. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. But what happens if someone dies before confessing their sins? 5. The role of sin eaters. Sin eaters were the last resort for those who died with unconfessed sins. Called upon by families, sin eaters would place bread on the chest of the deceased, eat it, and thereby consume their sins, ensuring the departed soul could rest in peace. 6. The ritual process. The process involved placing bread on the corpse to absorb the sins, which the sin eater would then eat. This act was believed to transfer the deceased sins to the sin eater, who would then be damned eternally. 7. Historical context. This tradition was most prevalent in the 18th and 19th centuries in parts of England, Scotland, and Wales. Sin eaters were paid very little for their damning service, making it a grim and thankless job. 8. Historical records. There are not many first-hand accounts, but some do exist. An 1813 book, Brand's Popular Antiquities of Great Britain, describes the sin eater ritual in detail, emphasizing the sin eater's dire fate. Another account from 1852 by Matthew Moggridge describes a sin eater's incantations and the consumption of bread and salt placed on the corpse. 9. Possible origins. The exact origins of this practice are unclear, though it may have roots in ancient pagan rituals. Another theory suggests that Middle Ages noble families handed out food to the poor to pray for the deceased soul, possibly evolving into sin eating. 10. Similar practices, in medieval Germany, the corpse cake tradition involved eating a cake placed on the chest of the dead to absorb their virtues. This was quite the opposite of sin eating. Savage tribes also had similar rituals, slaughtering animals on graves to absorb the sins of the deceased. 11. Societal perception. Sin eaters were outcasts, shunned and avoided like lepers due to their sin-laden status. They were also condemned by the church, which never approved of the practice. 12. Biblical comparison. The Irish Times once compared sin eating to the biblical scapegoat, where a goat was cast into the desert carrying the sins of the community. Leviticus chapter 16 verse 134. 13. The last sin eater. Richard Munslow believed to be the last sin eater, died in 1906. A successful farmer who became a sin eater after losing his children, Munslow's grave was restored in 2010 by campaigners in Shropshire, England. The dark history of sin eaters reveals a macabre and fascinating aspect of human rituals and beliefs. If you enjoyed learning about this eerie tradition, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Science Deli where we bring history and science to life through captivating stories. Remember, history is filled with strange and haunting practices. Stay curious and keep exploring.